We're here in Bhattachan, so I'd call it a quiet corner. The end of the road, surrounded by chaparral, a place where you can get away from the ordinary issues of daily life. This is simple for the mind. You need a quiet place in the mind, a quiet corner in the mind as well. That's your seclusion side, because sometimes you can't stay here. You have to go away, but you want to be able to carry that inner seclusion with you. And that comes from the skills that we're working on, working on the breath, working on developing more mindfulness, concentration. So we can have the discernment to be able to drop a lot of the issues that are weighing down the mind and give the mind a space where it can just be by itself. It can heal its wounds, gather its strength, and have a place where issues of the outside world just don't touch. That's your safe place inside. And that can be your quiet corner, even as you go out into the world. They talk about seclusion in lots of different ways in the text, but they come down to basically three kinds. There's physical seclusion, like we've got right here, right now. Mental seclusion, when you can pull away from your thoughts. And then being secluded from defilements. In other words, that's the state of the arahant, who's totally secluded, has a, that secluded part of the mind all the time. They're not, we're not anywhere near there yet, but we can develop the mental seclusion that gives the mind a place where it can rest. That has the discernment to be able to say not no to anything else that would move in on that territory. So it's a combination of two skills, learning how to stay focused and learning how to protect your focus. And that way you can have a quiet corner wherever you go.